The Philippines currently use a missile system called the Spider. The Philippine Air Force, which uses the weapons system, procured three batteries from Rafael Advanced Defense Systems in 2019. Then they officially received its first Spider systems in a ceremony in November of 2022. This event marked the first time the Philippines had dedicated surface-to-air missiles SAM batteries, significantly enhancing the country's air defense capabilities. Now, having its first dedicated SAM batteries isn't what makes it special. It is because before acquiring the Spider system, the Philippine air defense was largely dependent on anti-aircraft artillery and a limited number of Stinger and Mistral manned portable air defense systems man pads. The introduction of the Spider system marked a significant technological upgrade over these older systems, providing a more robust and capable air defense setup. In addition to the missile systems, the Philippine government has built a facility at Basa Air Base to house these Spider missile trucks and provide necessary infrastructure, including barracks for the personnel. This facility is managed by the 960th Air and Missile Defense Group of the Philippine Air Defense Command. Now, let's discuss the Spider's technical specifications. The Spider, surface-to-air Python and Derby missile system, is a sophisticated air defense mechanism. It is designed for quick reaction and is capable of engaging a variety of aerial threats, including fighter aircraft, helicopters, unmanned aerial vehicles, and precision-guided munitions. It comes in two main variants, Spider-SR, short-range, and Spider-MR, medium-range. In a report published in 2022, however, the Philippine Air Force received the medium-range variant. Spider-MR, the medium-range version, can engage targets at over 35 kilometers and at altitudes from 20 meters to 16 kilometers. This variant carries more missiles than its SR counterpart, holding 8 missiles compared to the 4 in the SR variant. The MR variant includes a new surveillance radar system, the iai elta mf star Spider-SR is the short-range version and is known for its quick reaction capability. It has a 360-degree engagement capability, and its missiles can be launched from a full readiness state in less than 5 seconds after targeting confirmation. The effective kill range is from less than 1 km to over 15 km, with altitudes ranging from a minimum of 20 meters to a maximum of 9,000 meters. This variant was first displayed at the Paris Air Show in 2005. Both variants employ two types of missiles, the Python-5 and the Derby. The Python-5 missile is notable for its beyond visual range capability and features an advanced electro-optical infrared homing seeker. It is capable of lock-on after launch LOAL, allowing for all aspects slash all direction attack capability. The Derby missile on the other hand provides a fire and forget option due to its active radar guidance. In terms of technical specifications, the Python-5 missile has a length of 310 cm, a span of 64 cm, a diameter of 16 cm, and weighs 105 kg. It has a guidance system combining infrared homing and electro-optical imaging with a warhead weighing 11 kilograms and a speed of Mach 4. The Derby missile measures 362 centimeters in length, with a span of 64 centimeters and a diameter of 16 centimeters. It weighs 118 kilograms and uses active radar homing for guidance. The warhead weighs 23 kilos and it also reaches speeds of Mach 4. Now, let's discuss the usage of this missile system. The Spider systems are mounted on Tatra T815-7 8x8 high mobility heavy duty tactical trucks, which provide the necessary mobility and support for the sophisticated hardware of the Spider systems. These trucks are designed with NATO aircraft transportability in mind, aligning with the capabilities of the Philippine military's existing aircraft like the C-130 Hercules. The primary function of the Spider system in the Philippines is to safeguard critical military installations, ground and air assets, and key international infrastructures against a variety of aerial threats. These threats include combat aircraft, attack helicopters, unmanned air vehicles, incoming missiles, guided munition, and rockets. The system is also capable of neutralizing surveillance threats under certain conditions. The Spider system's deployment is particularly focused on enhancing the coastal air defenses of the Philippines, with an emphasis on protecting the western Philippine Sea approaches. This strategic deployment is crucial, considering the increasing regional security challenges, particularly in the South China Sea region. Furthermore, the system's procurement and development are part of the Horizon 2 phase of the Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program. This phase reflects a significant investment in the country's military modernization endeavors. The Spider system's inclusion in the PAF's inventory provides a layered defense mechanism against various aerial incursions and plays a crucial role as the secondary air defense cover, complementing the PAF's FA-50PH fleet. But anyway, do let us know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.